20th of July 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history. They walked the moon and planted a US flag on its surface. A flag that should never have been there. Tom Moser, chief engineer at the time at NASA, tells us the dark side of that story. About uh, two weeks before the Apollo 11 mission, uh, my boss came in late one evening and he said, the project is we're gonna put a flag, a United States flag on the moon. And he said, the reason you can't discuss it with anybody, is there's an international agreement that no country would claim the moon. And so placing a flag on it was an indication that you were doing that. However, it was Congress's desire to have a flag on the moon. We built a prototype of the flag in the assembly and I put it on a lunar ladder. Neil Armstrong got down, but on his way down the ladder, he jumped. Well, I thought I screwed up. I thought the ladder broke because we hung this flag on it. If the ladder broke, there's probably a sharp edge. If there's a sharp edge, he probably cut his spacesuit. If he cut his spacesuit, he'd die instantly. So I thought the whole United States space program just ended because of that. So that's when I lost all my hair and turned gray. And the other story about that is when Neil uh, deployed the flag and extended it, the telescoping rod would not extend. So it looks like it's blowing in the breeze. Well, there's no atmosphere on the moon, so it can't be blowing, but people to this day say that it's, um, it's blowing because it's all a fake. The Apollo 11 flag was an instant hit, so much so that it's become the iconic image of the Apollo 11 mission. Actually, all the Apollo missions that followed until Apollo 17 had their very own flag. 